Chapter 28, I Have to Check My Lucky Value At this time, Yuan Zhan suddenly loosened his hand on Yan Emo, put his hands together, knelt to the ground, and put his ears to the ground. What happened? Yan Emo, who was free almost fell when he didn't stand still, but fortunately, the one who stood next to him helped him. Hey! Yan Emo was annoyed. This kid helped, and even touched his ass. The kid spoke eloquently, Dajan promised me, I could give you two touches. Is it? Yan Emo wants to take out the golden needle and tie him to immortality in paralysis. Yuan Zhan suddenly raised a fist, and all the warriors immediately shut up, and the slaves next to them naturally did not dare to make a sound and Yan Emo also temporarily restrained himself. After a moment, Yuan Zhan jumped up and grabbed the wooden spear. His facial expression was grim. There are heavy footsteps that are approaching here fast. Dalai immediately asked, How many? People or beasts? Beasts at least three or more Yuan Zhan looked to the other side of the river. The other side size must be very huge and their speed is very fast. We have to get out of here. Are we near a tribe? How is it so dangerous? Hey! All of them immediately looked at the boy with with primitive eyes. It's not easy to meet a stupid person like yourself. Diao immediately told the boy in a very kindly tone, It's going to be winter, some beasts and birds will run to the south collectively, some run early, some run when it's too late. Why did clay dragons fight with the wild eagles? Because clay dragons runs to the south before winter every year and every time they pass through the wild eagle's hunting ground. This time, the big guys don't know what it is. They are running along the way to drink water, they would not go after seeing us, they probably will not only drink water. Come on! Hurry! Lai shouted. Only when talking, everyone can already feel the obvious vibration on the ground. Is this how he is going to escape from these primitives? Potholes! Hell even the first meeting to determine the direction of their future journey has not been finished yet. Although Yan Emo was puzzled, his speed was not slow. He had already carried the backpack behind him and straightened himself. Other slaves and warriors also carried backpacks on their upper body and now they just found out how convenient this backpack thing is. Bing and missing teeth are very argumentative, but this is not the time to argue. Yuan Zhang glanced at the boy and said, Get up, fast. Yan Emo was also polite, he jumped on the broad back of the young man, holding his legs tightly around Yuan Zhan's waist and locking his hands around his neck. Yuan Zhan handed the wooden spear to the boy, grabbed the boy's leg with both hands and ran. Let's go. Without any words to order an arrangement Yuan Lai turned sprinting to the forefront, Da Shan and Da Dia ran on the sides after Da Bing and missing teeth. Yuan Zhan carried the man in the middle, and the other slaves followed him in a naturally formed a diamond-shaped protective array. Yan Emo can't help but want to applaud this tacit cooperation. This kind of formation, this kind of consciousness, and terrible hammered discipline, where did the means of training the warriors come from? Who trained them? This is the most common thing that Yan Emo felt after coming to this tribe. There are also the words and levels of the warriors. This is not what the primitive society should have. What's more, this is not just in this tribe, but the nearby tribes and even the more distant tribes have the same understanding. There must be higher civilizations in this world, and some of the things those higher civilization create have a ripple-like effect to the rest of the world this is only the best way to explain it. Booming, booming. The ground vibration was getting more and more powerful. When you look not from far away, you can see that a very huge figure is running fast to the river, and behind this figure, there is an even two bigger behemoths. F asterisk CK me. Seeing live dinosaurs. What a huge and ugly behemoth. As they approached the river quickly, their appearance completely washed Yan Mo's eyes. At first glance, the thick, Armor-like thick skin covered the huge body like a mound. The back was triangular, the head was as big as a disc, and the mouth sticks out like a wolf's mouth. They have no tail, the limbs are as thick as a building column, and the neck is hanging down. 
There are actually two auxiliary limbs in the part, and the claws of the auxiliary limbs are extremely sharp. Obviously, the claws are not only for a decoration, but also extremely aggressive. This stuff definitely eats meat. Look at its mouth, look at its teeth, and look at the fear drooling off its mouth while running. If that thing discovers them? This would be exactly plan, drink water and eat meals at the same place. Yu and Jean also kept an eye on the three behemoths' movements in the running. When they saw them, the young man shouted, It is the Iron Back Dragon. Yu and Meng lamented, Whenever I come out, I come across Iron Back Dragon. Our luck is too bad. Mother Fasterisker, they found us. Delai wasn't assured he shouted, We must direct them away, we can't let them cross the river and rush into the tribe. The ruckus of such a loud sound, the guards at the stone wall must have seen them. Meng asked his brother, Hey! Brother, are we going to die this time? Shut up! Several people yelled. They found that the comers were actually the iron back dragons who ate everything. Now everyone is running out in fear. To the surprise of Yan Emo, the women, Cao Ting and Xia Fei were not slow at all and they ran in the diamond array without falling behind. Wen Sheng and Yang Wei looked weaker than the warriors, and they breathed difficult when they ran. Think about his physical strength, if there was no Yuan Zhan running with him on his back. Boom! Bang! Iron Back Dragon found food, the animal ignored water and even chased the group. Yan Mo turned back and saw the huge figure getting closer and closer, and couldn't help but yell, Ah! They are coming over. Shut up. It was a few people speaking and the loud voice was the biggest. We can't run like this. Is there any other good way to lose them? Yan Mo wanted to shut up, but seeing that the three giant beasts are approaching in the rear a little bit, and he can see their mouths drooling near. If he didn't ask for a clear idea of how to get out of this mess there is absolutely no way to feel at ease. We are trying to outrun them now. Don't worry about it. They won't eat you being so small. Yu and Jean complained and speeded up. Behind him he heard gasps which became louder and Cao Ting and Xia Fei probably could not keep running any longer. Yan Mo couldn't help but think that if Cao Ting and Xia Fei were behind, and the three behemoths had food, would they still chase the rest of them? Cao Ting and Xia Fei naturally know very well that if they slow down, they will be abandoned so they are all desperate to run, probably not going to break the speed, but they will never stop. Yan Mo swept around and there was nothing to use? Is there any way to divert them? By the way, which direction are they running now? West? No, it seems to be the northwest. They have left the river and were running deep into the grasslands. Dijon, tell me, what do they eat? What are they afraid of? Where are their weaknesses? Yu and Jean didn't want to answer him at all, but the boy hit him repeatedly, and he was so angry but still said, You are enough food. They eat everything. If you hit me again, I will throw you to them to eat. Yan Mo felt Yu and Jean was really angry, and honestly shut up and no longer asked. Soon, Cao Ting began to lag behind, and Da Diao glanced at her but did not stop. If he stopped, the whole formation would fall apart so he could not stop. Ah! Yang Wei suddenly screamed, and the foot got caught in something and the slave fell and the body rolled three times on the ground. His master Bing leaped from him, missing his teeth and bypassing him. The fallen slave was passed by Cao Ting, and she did not stop when she passed Yang Wei. Yang Wei subconsciously reached out to grab Cao Ting's foot. Cao Ting screamed while falling down. Yan Mo, who looked back at the situation, it didn't look any better. Yu and Jean shouted at this time, Come on, the front is the quicksand, as long as we run there, we will be safe. And what about Cao Ting and Yang Wei? Leave them to die. Them themselves are not sure they will saved, what does he care about? Stop, we have to save them. What? Save someone. Yu and Jean doubted what he heard in his ears. Save Cao Ting and Yang Wei. Yan Mo shouted, 
fast. It's still too late. Let run back and we'll have time. Yu and Zhan ignored him. Yan Mo didn't know how the guide would judge the matter. He hoped that Yu and Zhan would slap him, so he had an excuse that he didn't want to save people, but he was incapable to save people. Help. Life and death, Cao Ting knew that there was no hope but she still shouted out. Yan Mo heart stilled and he thought of Cao Ting's when she looked out for him. But if they stop now, maybe they will all die. I am paralyzed. Yan Mo wants to yell at Yuan Zhan in this way, but he can sneak on the guide. He yelled at the man carrying, let me down, I am going to Cao Ting. Yuan Zhan still ignored him. At the back Yang Wei climbed up and ran to the left, but ran with a limping foot. Cao Ting also got up but she knew that she must have lost the strength to run when she fell back again and she could only watch the behemoths approach her quickly. Yan Mo thought that the last time he saw someone and didn't save them, he had added 10 points of scum, this time too, that is 20. Maybe 20 is not bad on the scum, but what about punishment for the quickly addition of scum points? The guide said that a one-time increase of more than 10 points of scum will give him a small punishment. But it is only a small punishment plus 20 points of scum, it is worthy of his own life to fight for such a low ad? And maybe there will be a few more dead in the future. If he let others die because he is unable to help will it also increase the scum? Help. Help me. Ah. Cao Ting sent out the final desperation scream. Yan Mo turned his head, closed his eyes and pushed again. His fingers moved and the golden light caught between his fingers flashed. Yuan Zhan suddenly felt something poking him on his shoulders and necks, and then his arms were lost their energy and became Lame. The little slave who had been firmly grasped by him slipped from him. UXXXX Yuan Zhan was so angry that he slammed into the ground and went to the boy who had fallen to the ground. When the boy climbed up, he ran backwards, and while running, he moved the backpack on the back to the front and opened the backpack. Cao Ting, get up. Run. The boy grabbed a piece of bacon from the bag and pointed it at the mouth of the beast that was near Cao Ting and it the meat fell in the animal mouth. Cao Ting did not know whether he heard the shouting and brave the courage, or she had an instinctive survival response under extreme fear. She even fled from the long mouth of the big dinosaur. Hey! The iron back dragon's teeth closed, not because it was not angry with the prey, but it was immediately attracted by the meaty taste in its mouth. Well. It tastes weird. But, seems I can eat this one too? Iron back dragon chewed and chewed it, and ate the bacon. Not waiting for the iron back dragon to finish the first piece of meat, Yan Mo gave the second piece of meat to the past. The meat fell in front of the behemoth. Iron back dragon bowed, hey? There seems to be the strange taste coming from meat just now? Hesitantly he looked up there was a little bit of fresh meat two legs legging itself away, then the dinosaur looked down at the ready-made pieces of meat on the ground. Which one is good to eat? Uh huh, don't waste this one, let me eat this first, and then chase those two-legged monsters. The behemoth just opened his mouth and bit the piece of meat, and another piece came over. The iron back dragon dinosaur was so confused, who is this, is he stupid trying to lose the meat? Forget it, I will still eat it. When the iron back dragon stopped at the place and began to enjoy the strange meat that can be eaten without the stress of hunting, the other iron back dragon mother chased him with the child. Oh, oh yeah. Another piece of meat fell. As long as Yan Mo pulled out the second piece of meat, you and Jean, who was extremely sensitive to the change of situation, quickly changed his original plan. While running to the boy, he shouted, Yuan Bing bring Yang Wei. Yuan Diao get Cao Ting. Delai at the front has stopped. When he saw Yuan Zhan running back, he rushed back with a wooden spear. After hearing the call from Yuan Zhan, he did not hesitate to immediately order, Da Bing, Da Diao, do it. Yuan Bing may not listen to Yuan Zhan, but he will definitely listen to the command from Delai. Da Bing and Da Diao turned to save their slaves. 
Yan Emo was still throwing meat, and the meat in the backpack was rapidly decreasing. How can things develop like this? Yan Emo wants to cry without tears while riding a tiger. He clearly heard the last scream from Cao Ting, only thinking that she would be finished, he only came down from Yuan Zhan, because in his calculations, even if he stopped at this time to save Cao Ting, it was too late, but he can make himself look good and escape from the guide punishment and be able to keep himself safe. Because 80% chance that the iron back dragons that were eating the meat are likely to let her go because of the food that has been in the mouth. Even if the iron back dragon also looked at him, Yuan Zhan will be faster than this monster. He thought about it, the salt land has not been found, as long as there is still a possibility, Yuan Zhan and others will never let him die. When he came down, Yuan Zhan would definitely look back and run and get him back. When he was willing to struggle again, he would definitely let Yuan Zhan stun him and take him away. But, did Cao Ting really escape from the Iron Back Dragon? Why did he make a, a conclusion that the meat pieces would be enough to break into the dinosaur mouth? The most incredible thing is that the behemoth did not think that the food that humans ate was unpalatable, and it stopped to taste the taste of the cured meat. To this end, he had to throw a second piece again, to make a base for the play. At that time, he also thought that if the iron back dragon was still angry, it will first go to eat the unsuccessful Cao Ting. When the dinosaur fell to Cao Ting, Yuan Zhan will have time to pick him up and run. But, Yuan Zhan actually let Da Bing and Da Diao to save their slaves, and he ran without the first time to pick him up and ran, and he stopped at him and waited for Da Bing and Da Diao to run back. And he had to throw out the bacon pieces to gain time. You mother fasterisker, the other two also caught up and picked up the old man running, what time does he have to wait for them to get him? Such a huge behemoth, do not to mention a small pack of meat, that thing can eat a car worth of meat in a minute. Fast, pick me up and run. The bacon was thrown away, and Yan Emo reached into the bag and touched nothing. Gone? Nearly thirty pieces of meat were thrown at that F asterisking dragon like this? Yan Emo looked ahead in the woods. He is so lucky, isn't he? On the first day, he met the rare iron back dragon. The first time he saved people, it was so smooth. It shows how much favor God has for him, he <laughs> he. After eating the last piece of meat in the mouth, the family of the iron back dragons were waiting to be fed up looked up in his direction. Why are you keeping still? Keep going. Ang. The sound of a dinosaur is louder than a cow. The slightly smaller iron back dragon was very unhappy and screamed, Nang Ang. Just so? I only tasted a little taste, and I screamed at the puny two feet thing. I tell you if you still don't continue to feed this uncle. If you do not give me that meat. Don't cry me a river if I decide to eat you. The leader Dalai led Da Bing and the four men who were closer to them. Instead of running away they rushed in the direction of Yan Emo and the sounds was naturally followed. Boom! Bang! Yan Emo was quiet for two seconds, with a sigh of anger, he screamed, Da Diao, run fast! He finished, turned, and spread his ankle and skedaddle. Relying on others F asterisk CK that. It's better to rely on yourself. Yuan Diao and Da Bing picked their own slaves, and ran. Yuan Zhan looked at the three giant beasts that rushed over he threw backpack to Da Meng who ran over to support them. Run! Yuan Zhan threw the backpack and quickly caught up with Yan Emo. He picked up his shoulder and rushed to the front with the fastest speed.